Hey guys, NJ here. We're having a quick look today at these new FR Sky M9R gimbals. Now, apart from um, coming in this very snazzy red, which is, uh, well, it's eye of the beholder. You're either going to love that colour or you're going to hate it. Would have been nice if there was a black option. Um, but anyway, the standout feature of this uh, gimbal in particular is the fact that it has a shorter throw in the vertical axis. So, uh, mainly, this is going to be used for throttle. Um, if you're using a 3D helicopter, this will be uh, pitch. Um, it's just generally anything with, with kind of racing and fast throttle response. By reducing that throw, um, we can kind of get to those endpoints a whole bunch quicker. Um, and this caught my eye because I thought that would be a really good thing for me. I haven't got especially big hands, and I find that just being able to get to the top and the bottom with that with a little less movement might be a nice thing. You know, it could be a gimmick. Either way, I did go out and fly it today, and I was oh, I got used to it really quickly, probably a couple of packs, and then after that, going back to a standard gimbal is now, it's, it's weird, I definitely prefer this, so, you know, you've got to decide whether that's something that's going to work for you or not. I wouldn't personally use that on the right side, because I'm a Mode 2 flyer, I've got throttle on the left, I wouldn't personally want that to be on the pitch stick. Um, I'd rather the pitch axis match the roll axis. So for me, I'm only going to really want this on the throttle axis. The uh, Your axis is exactly the same as a standard gimbal. Now, the other thing that they've done here, they do provide two of these red sticks so that if you want to have that nice red color matching on the other side, you can. So that's a nice thing. And you get the four bolts uh, to bolt it in. Now, compared to the original M9, which I've got here, um, um, if we put them side by side, perhaps you can kind of see, we'll give you a little visual, visualization of that, that travel difference. This one with the bottom of the throttle is there. This one, there is the bottom of the throttle. So you can see there is a perceivable difference there, without a doubt. You know, that's that's literally bottomed out. And you can see this is probably, I don't know, maybe 55 degrees. I don't know if it's as much as that. Um, but certainly the throttle range is 45 degrees here from top to bottom. And yeah, I really, really like it. There's a couple of other things that they've done here around the back. I mean, essentially, it's the same in terms of um, the way things are laid out. But one thing that was a little bit annoying about the original one um, was that I had to put a rip tie in to try and stop this cable flapping about inside. I also found that this, considering this is for the trim tab, um, was plugged in right next to the main connector, so it just didn't need to be as long as that. And they've actually addressed both of these thing things here. You can see that they've made this just short enough to where it won't catch, but you know it's exactly the right uh, length, and then it's uh, kind of. Uh, glued in there which is great and then again this uh, this little uh, cable here going to the uh, trim tabs a little bit shorter it's all just um, they, they've just put a, had the opportunity to tidy a couple of things up so that's quite nice now one thing I will say I know a few people have said to me well why don't you just get a little bit of, like a TPU block to go in here to just limit this to the same as the R model um, so that it stops there mechanically with something to block it and then recalibrate the sticks and yeah you totally could do that if you want to do that the difference here is you will be losing uh, resolution if you do that because from here to here is how the sensor set up and the sensor's got a set number of points between those two positions. If you suddenly calibrate between there and there, you've you've lost all this information at the top and you're recalibrating across a smaller resolution. So with this one, they have the same amount of throttle steps. I'm not sure if it's even more, but they, they, I think it's the same amount of throttle steps as you have across this whole range. You do have across this whole range, but in a shorter throw. So that's why personally, I would rather have that real fine precision, um, especially as you're going to be moving between a shorter distance so yeah anyway I really like them um, it's really down to you whether you think this will benefit you or not but I think it, it feels really good and I'm certainly going to keep it in there despite it not actually color matching my color scheme for my Tyrannus how fickle I am anyway I've got some flight footage for you with a uh, stick overlay so you can see how I got on with it this is probably uh, two or three flights in um, so yeah there you go thanks for watching links in the description as always if you want to go and grab one of these and I'll see you in the next one